It's a beautiful day. Right there, came up with smoke. That's a nice one. That's the way to start the day right there, boys. There's a fish right at the back of the slip right here. Got him, saw this one sitting over there. Check me out on YouTube. What you got? Justin Royal. Justin Royal? Yep. Fish film failing upward on YouTube. That's my thing. Look at those head shakes. Fighting and shaking. Don't you break me off and steal my bait, old son. What is up guys, Jay Royal back again. Welcome to my channel and thank you for 32,000 subscribers. That's right, we just hit 32,000 last night. It means the world to me, I can't thank you guys enough for your support. Filmed a clip earlier of me coloring in the 32,000 line on the subscriber board here. For some reason I didn't get audio on it, so had to scrap that, but you get the idea. We're trying to fill this bad boy up all the way to the top. So if you haven't already subscribed, consider doing that. I would love to have you guys riding along with us. I cannot do this without you. I'm trying to get that silver play button so we can hang it up back there on the tackle wall. Really quickly, today's video is another swim bait banger, and I think you guys are really gonna enjoy this one. It's action-packed, a lot of really interesting fish catches. Some really cool stuff happens. We have a nice positive interaction while we're out there on the water. And I want to make a note, you're going to hear me say yesterday a lot. If you guys saw my last on the water video here on the channel, this footage was filmed the day after that. So when I say yesterday, I'm talking about the last swim bait video that you saw. We put out a couple tackle videos from here in the garage since then, but this video was filmed one day later. And like I said, I think you guys are going to enjoy it. I'm not going to take up any more time here in the garage. Let's go fishing. All right, what's up guys? I just got to spot number one. Had a good time out here yesterday throwing the swim bait, so I'm gonna start off doing that again, and then we'll just keep going until hopefully we figure out a pattern. A little bit different conditions, not as cloudy, not as windy, but we're back out here. It's a beautiful morning. Let's go fishing. Right there, came up and smoked it. That's a nice one. That's the way to start the day right there, boys. That didn't take long. First spot. It's a nice chunk, too. These owners, you got to be careful. Bruh. This fish is fired up. Look at them biting me. That's the way to start the day right there, boys. Yee. This fish is freaking fired up. It's another swim bait hit a dude. If they touch these owners, it's over with. I'm trying to be extremely careful myself. These hooks are freaking no joke. Numero uno. All right, buddy. Oh, he gone. I knew that one wasn't going to take long to swim off. He blasted it. Saw him come up and eat it right here in front of the boat. Too much fun. Well, I guess we know they'll hit the swim bait, even though it's not windy and cloudy and prefrontal out here like it was yesterday. That one didn't hesitate. I mean, I saw his face come out of the water and he just chomped it. I'm gonna the motor down there a little bit, whiz kid. Shoot, we had around 36. All right, I'm gonna fish to the back of this pocket. If I don't get any action between here and there, I'll make a move. I think I figured something out. There aren't any fish here. <laughs> All right, let's get back out there on the main stuff. Hummingbirds are looking pretty crispy though. See all those trees down there. There's no fish in them. It's a beautiful day. Already needing my shades. Cause it's bright and the sun is just shining in my eye blobs. My eye blobs. We might have caught the tail end of that morning bite earlier. That one that came up and blasted. I haven't seen much surface activity since uh caught that fish. They were popping up top but now not so much i don't know boys i don't know oh oh i just had one blasted old son that's two swirls right here they didn't get it in their eater hole Oh my god. 
gosh. Just had one hit it right here. Three swirls. There's a fish. It's a fish right at the back of the slip right here. I'm gonna throw this flush over there. It's a little Just a smaller fish. Let's see if he'll react to this jerk right here. Oh, he's got me over there in something. Come out of there. He came right out and ate it. Got to be careful this fluorocarbon, these zebra mussels. Oh, he might have come on. Oh, no. He, oh, there he's out. Oh, he's out. Might be a nicer fish than I thought it was. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Got to be careful here. I don't know what he's... Oh, man. Come on. God dang. This fish is... They're strong today. He's going... He trying everything to break me off. Yeah, that's a little bit nicer fish than I thought it was. I saw this one sitting over there, right under the dock. About the same as that first one we caught. I mean, I threw the flush over there and he immediately turned and smoked it. He drug me down there into something and was straight stopped. And then he came out on his own. Boom. That's a nice one. See that that little adjustment right there man i had the wherewithal to grab that smaller bait because i knew if i chunked that swim bait over there i think this is the same fish that swirled on the swim bait at first so i decided to downsize pick up that flush as soon as that thing hit the water he was on it nice that's a good one I'll throw him on the gram real quick you guys follow me on instagram at the justin royal see all these catches as they happen from out here on the water live and direct and full effect via my story what i'm gonna do is Get the boat right back over here to where this fish was hanging out. I'm gonna put him right back where he belongs. Go back to your home. Are you too good for your home? That's a nice one. He was tucked right up under there and I just saw him suspended. Threw the flush to him, boom. Took one second for him to come out and smoke it. That was awesome. There's two. We got two, we got two. One on the swim bait, one on the flush. Let's keep grinding. They're eating. A little bit slower, but they are eating. It's all about finding them and getting that bait right in front of them. A little double whammy, a little swim bait, a little flush. I ain't mad at it. Let's keep grinding. Let's keep grinding, keep going. We got the clouds. Sun is tucked away behind the clouds. Wind picked up just a little bit. All good things. All good things. Definitely need to retie this. He shredded my line. I'm going to throw the big bait just a little bit more. Then we'll get that rig back up. I'm trying to find that one's mama. You know what I'm saying? That's kind of why you guys have seen me throw the big baits more and more. Because I've caught so many of these little dinksters out here on the soft plastic jerk bait. And I've done it literally hundreds if not thousands of times here on the channel you guys have seen plenty of that we caught so many of those fish so i'm really honing in on on a bigger bite lately so that's what i'm trying to do we may catch a less fish or we may come out here like we did yesterday and catch a bunch of tanks you never know i'm definitely targeting a bigger bite now having a lot of fun doing it but I'll always keep that flush at the ready for moments like that right there. I mean, she yeeted it out and blasted it. It is waterland time. Get my green mirrored heaters on here. Take my eye blobs from the sun. I got blue eyes, man. Light sensitivity is a thing. Gotta have my waterlands, man. Forget these bad boys. That'll ruin a trip real quick. I'll be headed to the house. This is where that fish took me into that dock right there. I'll get my line straight shredded. So I need to cut off and retie all the way down to right here. I'm determined to get at least one more on this swim bait, man. They're swirling on it. They're just not committing to it. But that doesn't mean we won't find the right one that will. So we can keep trying it for a little bit. Got a whole load of catfish for you. You can keep the catfish, boss. That's good eating, though. I feed all my fish. Oh, yeah? You catch here, I feed. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I, just, I basically I feed them twice a day. And yeah, if you feed them, they probably won't 
I probably won't even fool with this. I, you, might get, you might get lucky. The guy's in the bass tournament, and I had, I don't know, I keep, I've got one that's probably seven, eight pounds, that, uh, large mouth that hangs out under the dock. And I watch those guys in that $100,000 tournament blow in here, man, and none of them, it's fish just sit here. Yeah, they, they don't uh, get that big by being stupid. Yeah, but it was kind of funny because that was a game changer for everybody, you know? That would have been that would have been a winning fish. That's a good one. Yeah, but it, you know, like I said, I've got four or five bass that are starting to starting to feed pretty good. Nice. What's up, puppy? You want to go for a ride? You want to go fishing? Do you tournament fish here? No, sir. Or dive? No, sir. Check me out on YouTube. What you got? Justin Royal. You'll find me. Justin Royal. Yep. You just for YouTube and uh, for the fishing. Yep, fish, film, failing upward on YouTube. That's my thing. And, uh, I was gonna say because I've kind of I subscribed to what is it, Tyler Torwicks? Oh yeah, I know Tyler. But he doesn't. I don't think he does a whole lot on the fishing side. I mean, he's got. He's a guide. Like, so you know, just a couple little tidbits here and there. Yeah, I've actually got a couple of videos with Tyler on my channel. But hey, you want to go fishing? I think your boy here wants to go fishing. What are you fishing with now? I'm throwing a swim bait right now. This is actually a prototype from one of my sponsors. That's huge. Oh, that's small actually, but yeah, yeah, it's a bigger bait than what a lot of people are, are used to throwing, but um, I'm targeting a bigger bite, and man, I freaking whacked them yesterday. Did you? Only got two so far this morning, but they were the right kind, so. What are you, so are you using Garmin Live Scope? Yes, sir, I got Garmin Live Scope. I got the Hummingbird 360. It's pretty loaded, just about anything you can, you could want. I got it on here. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm not, I'm not scoping this morning. You see, I'm beating the banks, but uh, Live Scope is a, uh, that's where it's at, man. If they're not up shallow, well, so can with that you can see under the. I, I've got. The, I can see I've everything. Got the hooks. So I can see it. I can see everything. I really? can see, real time everything. There's a couple fish under your dock right there. There was a there was a really nice bass under here this morning. Yeah, there, there's one under there right now. What's your name? Kurt Weber. Kurt Justin, man, it's good to meet you, Kurt. Yeah, you too. Yeah, dude, I'm your neighbor. Nice. All right, man. Have a good day. Yeah, you too. Good luck to you. Thank man. you. I appreciate it. So do you get out pretty much every morning? Yeah, yeah, I'm out here every day. I'm out somewhere every day. Yeah, that's what I do, man. Check me out. I think you might enjoy it if you like fishing. Absolutely. All right, man. Have a good one, Kurt. Oh, man. That was a bunkified cast right there. There's one. Oh, man. Oh man, just had one smoke it right there. That didn't take long. Over here on this deeper water. That one bit it too. He just didn't get he just didn't get the hooks. Grabbed it by the tail or something, but I felt him. He was on there for just a second. They will bite the swim bait still. You know what that means? That's three more hours throwing the big bait. Get these shoes off, man. Get my flipsters off. Get my jail. Oh, there's one. <laughs> That's just a little dude. Look at him. He's still swimming with it. Little bitty dinkster. Following the squim bait. You can't eat that, dude. They are definitely reacting to this thing. All it takes is the right kind. There it is. Is that a quad? Dang, that's a quad, dude. Look at this freaking quad. We're gonna have to weigh this. That's a tank of a quad. Dark quad. Came up and roasted it. Yeah, dude, that's a that's a really nice Guadalupe bass. The quads. Caught a really pretty one yesterday, but that's a big one. World record quads, like 3.73 pounds, something like that. That's a nice one. Yes. Let's get a weight. Probably a pound, maybe. I don't know. We'll find out. I just want to know for my own self, for my own fun. What the hell? 
that was funny i accidentally turned on my air compressor this is a little jumper you know keep it on the boat just in case we ever have any battery trouble and it's got a built-in air compressor i've never turned it on before but apparently it works <laughs> Get us a little weight on this quad. One pound. One pound. Nice chunky Guadalupe bass. Talked about this in the previous video, but every time I say that's a guad, people always comment and say, What's a guad? That's a guad. Guadalupe bass. This one's particularly dark. They're usually a little bit more bright and vibrant. But that right there is a state fish of Texas Guadalupe bass. One pound, a little over a quarter the weight of the world record. Beautiful fish. Let's let them go. Awesome. That's a good time right there. Swim bait bite, let's go. Mr. Guadalupe came out from under that dock and roasted it right on cue. That's all I needed. You guys know what that means. That's, that's three more hours with a swim bait right there. That was cool. Right on cue, he smoked it. And I think uh, a little bit deep water access and then docks might be the key today. The last two fish were hanging out around docks. Yeah, I had the live scope and the front graph off all day yesterday. I just old school bank beat power fish. That's all I did. It was fun and it worked. Live scope is a tool. It does not help you just magically catch all the fish as some grumpy dudes who don't have live scope online seem to think. Absolutely not the case. It may help you locate fish. It can even uh, be a detriment to your day sometimes because you'll see fish and you're seeing fish and you're like man they're right there but they won't eat so a lot of times you'll fall in love with those returns on that live scope just sit there and try to fish for fish that aren't turned on and uh it can it can mess with you you end up wasting time so i go back and forth i scope fish shallow if i'm fishing shallow Chances are I'm not even looking at that thing, man. Oh, the wind's picking up. Oh, come on, Bobby. This is what we want. We want that wind picking up. Pounding the banks. It'll push those fish up here. It'll push the bait up here. It'll push the bluegill up here. And it'll push the, the, the real fish up here. So you can see this bait all along the shoreline right here. I've been seeing little mini schools. Hopefully we can find some more swim bait eaters. Should be one over here in the corner. Somewhere. There he is. Called it. Oh, he came off. Drag slipped just a little bit and he came off. There was one over there in the corner. Still getting bit on the swim bay, man. Had a couple shake loose on me, but they're eating it. So I'm throwing it. There he is, came back for it. Got him that time, he's on. Another nice one. He's shaking, look at those head shakes. I'm fighting and shaking. Don't you break me off and steal my bait, old son. Rip and drag. Strong fish. <sighs> yeah, that's the nicest one of the day. Another tank. Big head on this fish, too, man. Look at him. That one ate it twice. I missed him the first time. He was over there in the corner, right where I said he'd be. Badoo! Yeah, that's another thick one, boys. That's another thick one. What more do you want, man? What more do you want? We found a swim bait hit us. Had to come back to that same area. This is where they were yesterday, man. That's awesome. That's just awesome. All right. Go ahead and get this dude unhooked. 
get them back in the water man we should be boxing them already again today we'd have a another freaking fistful of dollars for the thumbnail but i don't like boxing them in the summertime you know i said that in the last video i'm saying it again in this video guilty of repeating myself a little bit here lately but uh you know i believe it's an important message you know summertime especially in texas it's hot you know these fish they don't do well in live wells sometimes so protect the resource let them go let them grow you know the deal another nice one on a swim bait we're gonna put this old son right back here where he lives you ready buddy one more look at that fat head fish awesome later they're still blowing and i'm still throwing let's go swim bait hit us yep that wind picked up as soon as that wind started picking up i started i started feeling confident started feeling like uh we'd definitely be able to to get a little bit more action the wind's your friend i say it all the time kyle Shout out to everybody subscribing from the Kyle video. I know you guys want to see some drama, but I'm out here just trying to catch some fish, man. Mind of my own business. Drama free today. That interaction that I had earlier with the dude from the end of his dock, he was cool. He didn't seem to mind me fishing around his dock. Shout out to Kurt if you're watching, man. Thanks for the positive interaction. I appreciate it. It's good to meet you. There we go. Oh, no, he came off. Little guy. Oh, no, he's still on there. He's running towards me. Little guy. What's up, buddy? Welcome to the video. Sorry, little dude. Can't help but notice I haven't caught any fish since those docks. I mean, I caught that one little dink, but I haven't caught any nice fish since that dock. Way back, probably 20, 30 minutes ago, at least. Oh, just had one crack it. Swirled on it. No idea how big he was, but let's see if we hit it again. There's a fish over there. I'm gonna follow up with the flush quickly. Let's see if we can get him in the boat. There he is. Got him. It's a nice fish too. I'm so glad I did that. You guys saw that little follow-up bait payoff right there, man always have a follow-up ready would not have caught this fish he swiped at the swim bait god dang they're fired up cutting my thumb all up on these thrashes and biting me would not have caught that fish if i didn't have that flush at the ready that follow-up payoff smoke it's another decent one that right there showcases the importance of a follow-up bait the fish just swirled at the uh, swim bait, bumped it, threw right back over there with the flush. Full blown annihilation. Yeah, okay, man, sometimes you just gotta know when to downsize. You gotta finesse them sometimes, you know? It can't always be the power hour. As much as I would like it to be power hour every hour. Sometimes you just gotta finesse them. Getting a little rashed up on that old thumb. There we go. Dang, another little dinkster. It's a guad. It's a pretty guad. He's came up and swiped at it. Got him hooked in the back. Just barely though. Beautiful little 
Guadalupe bass. That's normally what they, that's more along the lines of what they normally look like, is what I'm trying to say. Beautiful fish. Later, dude. What's he doing trying to eat this big bait? Maniac? He's a maniac. That's going to be it for us out here on the water today. Thank you guys for hanging out with me in this one. I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up right here. As always, massive shout out to Six Sense Fishing and Waterland. Speaking of the Waterlands, 15% off. I got you guys a 15% off code, JR15 for 15% off, waterlandco.com. Angler born, quality built, polarized fishing optics, or just optics for your everyday non-angler as well. The best shades that I've ever worn in my life. I'm an eyewear snob and I love these waterlands. As mentioned earlier in the video, I cannot leave home or hit the water without them. And now I can help you guys save even more money on some of the best shades in the game. JR15 at checkout, waterlandco.com, sixcentsfishing.com, JR10 at checkout for 10% off everything they have to offer, all the rods and the baits that you saw me using in today's video. Six cents the smoke heaters only from the six you know the deal thank you guys so much for hanging out with me out here on the water if you enjoyed it please click the like button subscribe to the channel if you haven't already we are railing and it's all thanks to you guys so hope you enjoyed the video much love i will see you all again very soon but that's about all i got for you today that about does it that about wraps her on up so i'm gonna say goodbye for now and i'll see you in the next one